What's up? Welcome to Jing Ding. I'm Courtney, and in today's video, we're going to be doing one of a three part video where we build a ginormous orca diorama, more specifically, a venom orca diorama. <laughs> This is part one of a three-part video. In today's Venom Orca Diorama, we're gonna be building the scenery. So the little mountains in the back of the little SeaWorld Orca tank. The landscape or, you know, background materials for the sculpture. So, let's get to it. All right, so I have the general shape going here. I made a little cliff so I could do a little waterfall right there going into the thing. And then I left a little gap here to put a screen. All right, so I'm gonna be using this. Here we go, let's do this. Let's roll it out. Okay, so the structure is basically formed. I just need to smooth um, like the connections where I attach two pieces of clay so you can't see that. But the bumps and everything is great because that adds for the textures of the rocks. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of tin foil here, uh, ball it up and uh, run it along the clay to make uh, this texture like so. Texture over it. So the base coat is looking great. Now I'm gonna take this darker reddish color and add it in spots to give it some variation. That's looking good. Now I'm gonna make a wash by uh, taking an even darker color brown, watering it down a little bit, actually a lot of it, so it gets in all the cracks and crevices, and then I'm gonna wipe it away. What it looks like. To finish it up, use a super light color and dry brush it. To do this, I'm gonna barely get any paint on the brush and then very quickly brush it on. I'm gonna paint a little base here real quick uh, just to get this raised up a little bit higher. Now let's get out the wire cutters and cut off pieces to make these little trees. And here they are in different sizes. I'll go ahead and glue these down with a hot glue gun. Add some rocks and reindeer moss. To make the screen, we're gonna take an old uh, phone screen protector and break it up a bit. 
and attach it to a foam board that's painted uh, black to give it a screen look. And uh, here's the background all finished up. I hope you like the way this turned out. Stay tuned for part two that'll be coming out next week. And until next time, be kind, stay positive, and keep creating.